Well, hello everyone. Today, we're going to look for your names on the tree before we start our story. So I'm going to go back and so you can see a whole big picture of the tree. There's our tree. Now let's see who we can find on this tree. Let's see. Hmm. There's a name that begins with an E. Why? That would be Emily. And a name that begins with an A, A-L-A-N. That would be Alan. And there's a Sue that is me. Let's see who else we have. Well, look at that. We have Cleo. Winnie. And uh, hiding a little bit is James. Oh, who is this a picture of? Do you guys know who that is? It's Kevin. Kevin when he was about four years old. Yeah, let's see. <gasps> There's a with my name on it. S-U-S-A-N. And hmm. There's, oh, that's how you say Merry Christmas in Polish. I don't know how to say it, though. Um, oh, who is that guy? Why, that would be Alan. And Grandpa's name? R-O-N, Ron. Who else have we got here? Hmm, well... Look up here. We have a name that starts with an H. H-O-L-L-Y. That would be Holly. And K-E-V-I-N. Well, that would be Kevin. So who else do we have? We have, oh, why right, here's a picture from 2017 of Sterling and James and Winnie. And there we have Sterling. Well, if we have Sterling, we must have, we must have Roman. Hi, Roman. So I think we found everybody's picture. So now we're going to, let's see. Turn this around. How do we turn this around so we can do our story? Well, our story today is Bruce Lee. Now, Bruce Lee was an Asian actor who taught people how to do Kung Fu. And he was famous because not many people that were Asian at the time, we're making movies like he was. So, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Before that, we can look at our words. I've got to figure out how, where this is. Oh, come on. Where is that camera? There it is. Here we have the words no, she, he, the, was, dog, me, and mom, is, not, yes, I and you, it, and dad. So now we're going to look at our story and see if we can find some of these words. So first we're going to look at a picture. Whoa, this is Bruce Lee. And he is with his family. And 
he was in a TV show called The Green Hornet, where he was, he was not the Green Hornet, he was Cato. He was a guy who taught the Green Hornet how to fight and save people. So let's find out about his life. This is a story of a little boy born in San Francisco. His parents named him Lee Jung Fan, but the nurse at the hospital gave him the name that became famous, Bruce. There's little baby Bruce. There's a big dragon. He was a young boy when his family returned back to Hong Kong, where his dad was a well-known opera star. Soon Bruce followed in his footsteps and became a child actor. I think that's Bruce at school sleeping on his book. What does it say about him? Bruce was a lazy student who didn't like going to school much, but he was very interested in martial arts. He wanted to learn the secret of Wing Chun, a sort of Kung Fu that was taught by an old grandfather. Bruce was also good at almost anything, from boxing and fencing to dancing the cha-cha, a Latin dance that everybody wanted to learn. And he grew up to master that. So he learned how to dance, how to fence, how to box, and how to do kung fu. Oh, that would be a policeman there, so he might have gotten in some trouble. Bruce also had a talent for fighting, but on the street and messing with local gangs. That wasn't good. One day, his parents decided to send him back to America to keep him out of trouble. The night before his departure, Bruce made a promise. He made a promise to be a better person. He knew that mistakes can be forgiven if one has the courage to admit they made a mistake. Once he graduated, are we skipping something? Yes, we are. I'm just giving him going back to school. So there he is back at school. He crossed the Pacific Ocean as a cha cha teacher. And once in the United States, he studied philosophy and got a job teaching Wung Chung to his fellow students. So he got a job as a teacher. But what he taught was a kind of Kung Fu type of art. Once he graduated from school, Bruce Once he graduated, Bruce opened three martial art schools on the West Coast, where he mixed the best of what he had learned and created his own combat method called Shit Shit Kandu. Hmm. 
Now here's a picture of him. And they said he was so fast that he could catch a little cut of rice that had fallen with his chopsticks. Wow. He was so fast that at one time he knocked out an opponent 15 punches and a kick in the fight that only lasted 11 seconds. Well, now this is not just fighting on the street, kids. This is an actual boxing kind of fight. He was said to be able to catch a grain of ice in the midair with his chopsticks. Because uh, Bruce got a part in a TV series, but he struggled to make it big on the big screen in Hollywood. So he returned to Hong Kong where he was in a main role in a martial arts movie. So a movie all about kung fu fighting. He fought with the grace of a dancer and the charm of an actor and soon he was even writing, directing, and producing his own movies. Bruce made martial arts popular in Hollywood and finally gave him the opportunity he had longed for. He became the most famous Asian American movie star when he played, uh, I can't read that. Oh, Enter the Dragon. The King of Kung, Kung Fu Movies. And by having faith in himself and never giving up, Little Bruce became the hero for everyone and the person he always dreamed of. So because he believed in himself and he learned how to use his Kung Fu for good to teach people how to do safe fighting, like the superheroes you watch. And of course, you would never want to fight to hurt anybody. So that's a picture of his family, and that's a picture of Bruce when he was little, and this is when he was a little bit older. This is our story for today, and I love you all, and I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving, and I will see you soon. Bye. Love you.